My name is Jamara Burley. I am first and foremost an activist. I didn't wake up one day thinking that I would dedicate my life to social justice, but it was growing up in Philly, you know, watching the inequalities firsthand, uh, watching folks attend more funerals than graduation. And it wasn't until I was about 15 years old when my brother Andre was shot and killed in Philadelphia. I sat at a, a weird juxtaposition because it was shortly after learning that my father was incarcerated for murder. And so I started asking the question of, you know, why were these things happening? What were the conditions of our society that enabled for people to become both a victim and a perpetrator? I stand here because of the life of my brother Andre, who was 20 years old, hold the NRA accountable, but also hold the United States accountable. We have to, one, um, get back to the progress that we've made while also recognizing there's still so much work to be done. That can't happen under a Donald Trump administration. We need to address structural racism, and we can't do that with a president and administration that fans the flames of hate and division. I am voting in 2020 uh, to ensure that we're continuing to protect those who are the most vulnerable within the society, those who are at the very margins of our communities who are suffering. And I do believe that the Democratic Party shares those values. And I do believe that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are individuals who are gonna put people first who are gonna ensure that we look at the intersectionality of issues related to the economy, related to gun violence, related to criminal justice reform, and start to create solutions for change that actually become policy and practices 